Welcome back to the Bobcat Sports Showcase. I'm Grant Burkhart. He's Blake Brody, new face on the program. As you can see behind us, they're still cleaning up here from Ohio's win over Temple in football. But winter sports are starting up, and Blake's our guy for basketball, at least a preview part of it. In this show, Blake, the men's team starts off next week with a little bit of an exhibition. But this team, as always, will be led by DJ Cooper. Oh, still, nothing's changed there. And I think that's one of the questions that fans are going to come into the season with. How good can DJ Cooper be for this Bobcat team? Really good, folks. He's an all-max selection preseason-wise. According to CBSSports.com, he's rated the 21st best point guard in the nation. That's not the MAC, that's the country. So DJ Cooper, really good for this Bobcat team. The one knock, though, on Cooper is the fact that he sometimes has a tendency to, to do a little bit too much offensively. He can really try and take a game over when the Bobcats are behind. And the Bobcat offense so much more effective, Grant, when DJ Cooper is a facilitator. And you're right, Cooper is better in that facilitating role, taking 10 to 15 shots per game. He's one of the nation's best passers. At one point last year, he was second or third in the country in assists per game. Right. He's better in that role, but this team loses Davon Washington. They lose Tommy Freeman, both those guys playing professionally in Europe. Those guys were great last year, but they're gone now. They're gonna rely on guys like Kellogg and like Baltic to do it for them. As you said, the back court's good. The front court is a question mark, and John Gross talked a little bit about that, about the guard play this, this past week. Yeah, because as, as effective as the guard play is going to be for him, that's that much of a question mark in the front court. So Gross knows the strength of his team is in the back court. Here's what he had to say. We're very experienced uh, in terms of minutes played by our perimeter players, and obviously offense addition as well. After sitting out a year, that, that makes us even a little bit deeper there on the perimeter. And you know, TJ, Ricardo, and Nick aren't freshmen anymore. You know, all three of those guys played in every game, average double-digit minutes per game last year, and we need those guys to step up. We talked about DJ Cooper on the men's side, sometimes being a one-man show. He didn't have a whole lot of help, but sometimes last year. Same story on the women's side. Tanisha Benson is an absolute star in the MAC. She was picked on the All-MAC uh, All -MAC East preseason team. She's phenomenal. Ohio women picked fifth in the East. But maybe they're a little bit better than that. I think they are. I think they were, they're underrated in the, in the five hole. And I understand why the MAC committee put them in the five spot. This was a bad team last year. I mean, they were 9-22. and 22. They finished 4-12 and 12 in the MAC, so not getting a lot of love coming into this preseason. Completely understandable, but this is a team that's going to fly under the radar. Anytime you have players like Tanisha Benson who can take a game over at any time, and also the, 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 the potential of Portia Harris down low, that is a very good one-two combo. And the MAC this year at wide open. Bowling Green was a force last year, finishing 13-3 and in the conference, but they lost four starters. So Bowling Green's not going to be the monster they've been in years past. And I think it's a wide open MAC East, and the, the Ohio Lady Bobcat team can, can make as much noise as anybody. The one thing we talked to head coach Jimmy Randall about after the game is the fact that she wants to push the tempo. And the fact that the depth of the team will be that much more important because when you're pressing the tempo, you're running people into the ground, you get tired too. So the seven, eight, and nine players will be more key for them than, than normal, I guess. Yes, uh, that's exactly right. They want to play an up-tempo style. So do they have the bench to do it? Are they conditioned enough to do that? That's exactly what Samika Randall told us is the biggest key in the offseason now while they can to get into conference play as a well-conditioned team because they're going to need it. Here's what she had to say about that. Uh, conditioning is still a factor for us, the way we want to play and get up and down the floor. So. Uh, we definitely, that's a work in progress. Uh, I didn't expect it this first game, uh, but I think it gives us an opportunity to see ourselves on the floor and see some of us sucking hair out there on the floor and resting and deeping. When literally, I have told our basketball team, the only time you rest is when you sit next to me. Samika Randall, Tanisha Benson, and Ohio women's basketball start the season on the road November 13th at Moorhead State. He's Blake Brody. You'll be seeing a lot of him. The rest of the winter sports started up this past weekend too. Ohio swimming and diving swept the weekend against Bowling Green and Eastern Michigan.